All right, quick intro, guys. Uh, this video is all about data transfer speeds between the USB 3.2 Gen 1 port and the USB 2.2 port. Most importantly, this is to prove how stupid it is to include USB 2.0 ports in 2025, especially in the premium segment smartphones. I sincerely recommend you guys to watch till the very end because it's very important to feel the difference between both the ports uh, with certain amount of weight. So be patient for this one. Huh? By the way, I'm going to use Oppo Find X8, OnePlus 12 and an external SSD for this test. So let's dive into it. The reasons for choosing these devices are very obvious. Oppo Find X8 has USB 2.0 port and OnePlus has 3.2 Gen 1 port. So let's start with OnePlus 12 first. Now I'm gonna transfer a 10 GB file from OnePlus to my one TB external SSD. And I'm using the Oppo phone as a stopwatch. For the reference, OnePlus released in 2024 January and Oppo Find X8 launched in October 2024. On a serious note, this is a 1080p video which consumed 10 GB space for the 56 minutes video length. Imagine how much a 4K video would have taken for the same length. It's quite impressive, 10 GB file in 30 seconds, a lot faster than I thought, very much handy. And you can see the transferred file in the destiny location. Now let's plug in the external SSD to the Oppo Find X8 phone and reverse the and reverse transfer the file, the same file we transferred from OnePlus to the SSD. We're doing the vice versa here, means we are moving the file from external SSD to the Oppo. Let's see how far the USB 2.0 stacks up against the USB 3.2. Meanwhile the transfer is ongoing, you can go to the comment section and leave your guess how much time it will take for the Oppo to complete the transfer. And the 30 seconds has been completed and the file is barely transferred. Let's give it another 30 seconds and see how far it gets. Well, another 30 seconds has been passed and this is barely moved anyway. Honestly, it feels a little disappointing to see such a capable device is really taking so long to transfer a 10 gigabyte file. And unlike the software drawbacks, this hardware drawback will stay as long as you stick with the device and there's nothing you can do about it but to wait it successfully completed four laps and it's not even past the 50 percent of the transfer this reminds me of a race between rabbit and tortoise where tortoise always lose i'm sure by now, you know how slow the data transfer speeds are on USB 2.0 ports compared to 3.2 Gen 1 port. In 2026, yeah, it is 2025, but we are there. So let's say 2026. Premium smartphones, especially those over 50K, really need to come with at least 3.2 Gen 1 port. I'm talking about phones with awesome camera hardware and amazing video features like the Oppo Find X8 9 and Realme GT8 Pro. These come with great camera hardware, Dolby Vision and 10-bit log recording. But what's the point if you can't really transfer those big files quickly? So I would suggest you keep an eye out for this. For a lot of people, it may not seem like a huge deal, but it's super important for you to understand the difference. You really need to know how much faster data transfers are with a USB 3.0 port compared to a 2.0 port. For those of you who shoot a ton of videos or have lots of huge files on your phone and want to move them quickly to an external SSD or your computer often, you absolutely have to avoid USB 2.0. Seriously, 
for your own sanity just say no to it it's a terrible decision for manufacturers to put a usb 2.0 port on a phone with solid camera capabilities i know it just doesn't make any sense they are basically working against themselves i honestly don't know what some brands are thinking even the iPhones at least the base model still come with still come with USB 2.0 it's baffling anyway that's it for now i hope this really helps you understand the big difference between these two ports if you really found this helpful share it with your friends whom do you think uh, this needs to be understood so see you in the next one Peace.